Hello, welcome to Drawing with Dan. Um, no, that doesn't sound right. Hello, welcome to Dan Draws. That sounds stupid too. I oh, forget it. Hey, I'm drawing something today. Um, this is a piece of mine that I've been working on for a while. Just sketching in the composition and the background and all of the lovely funny looking characters here that look so happy. Um, right now I'm just doing the sketches, but I'm also intending on inking this piece. So that should be interesting because that's something I've never really done before, especially on a piece so large and I'm eager to see how it turns out. Okay, so I put all my pencil down. I am going to get ready to start applying the ink. And I've sped it up for your convenience so you can see the process unfold. And just as a disclaimer, I am not an expert at using inks to finish a work. This is just an experiment. Use the information at your own jurisdiction. I'm not an expert at this. I'm just practicing. So yeah. Enjoy the speed drawing.
Okay, so you may be looking at this picture and wondering what the heck is going on? What's with all the skulls? Why is it so dark? What's with all the demonic looking creatures with swords? Or this whole entirety of the picture is symbolic of a battle, of course, but not just a physical battle, but sort of a spiritual or mental, emotional battle rather, a battle that is fought in the mind that is translated into, or as if it were, a physical battle against real entities. The entity that I'm trying to depict here is the idea of fighting against a depressive force or depressive nature. I like to treat the creatures that I draw not as creatures in of themselves, horrific and sometimes disgusting, but I like to see them as symbolic of a certain quality or character. And that's what really makes good creature design good in that sense is that it represents a quality that or, or a human quality that we shy away from that we tend to uh, repress in our souls. The concept of this demon that I'm trying to depict is a trifold force where the demon in the middle would be reading a book and it would contain vitriolic uh, words and phrases that would just seep into the minds of its victims and that initial battle would begin with that just impending force where you're trying to fight away the words that he's reading from the book and he's re and he's just speaking curses over your life and I imagine the character just fighting against him and trying to shun away all these words that he's speaking to him and afterwards when he when it looks like he's getting the upper hand I see the larger uh, force in the background just reaching over and plucking the smaller demon out and just eating him like he was nothing it sort of adds that sense of despair that you would feel when you feel like you're getting over uh, a mental state and then it just comes right back at you uh, full force he he takes away all of your motivation all of your desire to fight all of your desire to live and to see not just one enemy but one gigantic enemy and how he's accompanied by several other minions of his just makes you feel outnumbered and overwhelmed. I feel like that's a, uh, a very accurate representation. You know, God gives us the power to not only resist the enemy, but also to overcome his forces. And I feel like the representation where the characters in the armor are together fighting against this uh, creature is so helpful to lay down the concept or the groundwork that this battle does not have to be fought alone but that it can be fought with other people and when other people gather together they can overcome the odds. This initial image would be in the climax of the battle where you're not really sure who's going to come out on top where the characters have worked so hard and so long to get to this point. I included that little clue in the back where the guy is clutching who could be maybe his girlfriend, wife, sister, whoever, and he's looking up to heaven and he's just crying out to God and right beside him is that word of God, that sort of the spirit, and it just sort of points to looking to God for your respite, for your strength because you can't face any of this on your own and I think looking at that there's some hope in this fight that these characters though they're in dire straits I feel like they're going to make it out alive and that's what I feel like this image represents in a whole.
overall, this picture took me about, I'd say, I'd estimate around 30, 30 plus hours to complete mainly because of the recording and to check the battery every 30 minutes and but I'm glad I finished it and I'm actually very pleased with the results. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching.